Welcome to West Texas. We are sitting here in Alpine, Texas, which is the perfect place to be if you like small town Texas. That's right. We're about 25 minutes from Marfa and Fort Davis, and we're about 80 miles away from Big Bend National Park. So this is a perfect place to land, either coming or going to Big Bend National Park. Our first diversion, we went the wrong way, so we are circling back because we are on a mission to go to a specific spot on this trail. It is gonna be a totally cool off the beaten path spot. So just wait for it, it's coming. It's not an epic trip unless there's a U-turn. <laughs> that's right, that's how we know we've had a really nice trip. And yeah. it's nice talking to you guys and all, but with these rocks and this footing, I don't wanna die. So focus, focus. I need to look at the ground. <laughs> We've regrouped. We are now on the correct trail. Our friend Letty told us to pay attention because there are trails all through here and we could get on the wrong one and totally miss what we're looking for. So thanks for the heads up, Letty. We found it. Absolutely. And if you don't have all trails, it's a lifesaver. And it works even if you're, if you, you can download it offline, mm -hmm. but that way you can monitor and um, make sure you're not going way off the beaten path. Literally and get lost. So. <laughs> So let's move forward. Are you ready to see what we came all the way up here for? Yes, the views are really cool, but check out this desk. Is that not cool? Wouldn't you love to come up here and make this your office? So apparently this desk was brought up here by two 19 year old college students who thought it would be a great place to get some work done and they would be able to do it in peace. So they snuck up here at night and carried this heavy old school metal desk up here. And now it's just a spot that everybody hikes to and it's, it's really cool. So if you guys head to Alpine, Texas, make sure you come up here for a little off the beaten path, literally off the beaten path. All right, that was a really nice two mile hike. We went straight up on the way in and did a nice little curve on the way out. So the incline, or I should say the decline was not nearly as steep. So it was pretty cool. And if you're really talented like that guy, skip the feet, hop on the bike and do a little serious mountain biking. Our friend Al could probably do that, but I'm telling you, I'm out. So actually we have 1.93 miles and uh, of course I can't stop my counter right before two. So I'm gonna have to do some laps in the parking lot to get my two miles in. So that way I can mark it off my to-do list for my exercise today. How many of you people do this when you're working out? You make it back and you're like, eh, just a tenth off. So you got to keep doing laps. We are nestled in the Lost Alaskan RV Resort here in Alpine, Texas. And the sites are really nice. Pull through, full hookups. They even have cable. Reach for the stars. Let's make this world ours. We can do interrupt this video to remind you this is your last chance to get RV Destinations magazine at 30% off. I have the last three issues here and I've been combing through them to help me decide where we're going to go in 2024. Now the great thing about this magazine is you can download it straight to your computer or you can get a hard copy like I have here. 
Be Inspired is RV Destinations' motto, and that is exactly what it does. It inspires you to go to destinations all over North America. There are so many amazing places still left for us to explore. To sign up for your RV Destinations membership, head to RV Destinations or click the link down below in the description box and use TIS Holiday 30 to save 30%. Don't miss out on your chance to save big on RV Destination Magazine. Let's talk a little bit about what Marfa has to offer. It's actually been called America's Last Frontier. <laughs> it is. And every time Stacy says Marfa, I can't get out of my head. Marfa, 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 Marfa. Like, you know, the Brady Bunch, whatever. But it just stuck in my head. Anyway, if you are if you happen to be in the town of Marfa, you want to check out the Hotel Paisano. It is an, an historic hotel that was used during the filming of the movie The Giant. Now, I've never seen it, but... Bill won't watch anything if it's not made probably as early <laughs> as the 70s or 80s. But it did have some big name stars in it. James Dean, Rock Hudson, and Elizabeth Taylor. I did not know that. And they all stayed at the hotel while the movie was being right. filmed. So it is an iconic place. It's on the uh, historical registry. And if you go through and take a tour of the hotel, make sure you notice the tile. The terracotta tile throughout is beautiful and they have pictures of when they were here filming the actual movie so you have to check those out they're scattered throughout the hotel with you everything was complete do you know how much i love you i put your favorite song on just to wake you up when i dance around i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here Let's see if anybody's home. Right. <laughs> I don't know if it's picking anything up. What's it playing? Shake it off. Oh, no Ooh. way! Get in. Now, one of the biggest things in Marfa is the Marfa lights. I have read all about these lights. I have yet to see them, but I hear they're pretty amazing. According to the folks that have actually seen the Marfa lights. Which is not us. They are <laughs> about the size of basketballs, and they come in a bunch of different colors, red, white, blue, yellow. Well, these things are supposed to hover. They're supposed to twinkle, and sometimes they just shoot out like a UFO. So according to the people who have seen them, they will be all over the sky, so you can't miss them. That's, I'm sorry, go ahead. But there is a great place to see them. So there is a rest area where you can park your RV overnight. There's plenty of parking, so just pull up, park the RV, pull out the chairs, and get ready for the light show. Now that we have seen, we have taken a, a pit stop at the the RV rest stop that Stacy's talking about. It's plenty big for RVs, and if you've seen the Marfa lights, let us know. Welcome to the Gage Hotel here in Marathon, Texas. Yeah, this is another little sleepy town that might surprise you. So this hotel opened in, was it 57? 27. Hold. 1927. 1927. Yeah. I, read, okay, so, I read the placard behind us. Look, my mind is on other things because <laughs> this hotel was voted the best hotel bar margarita in all of Texas. And that was in 2017. So I just figured since we're here in town, we have to take one for the team, go in and see if they still have the best margarita in all of Texas. Well, I don't know about the margarita, but we'll soon find out. But I do know that the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had right down the street at the coffee shop here they were fantastic in fact scotty might have bought the remaining chocolate chip cookies they had they were that good they were espresso chocolate chip fresh baked still warm from the oven so yeah. definitely worth a pop in 
no footage of that because they didn't last too long in front of us. So sorry, you'll have to trust us. You have to take our word for it. If you come through Marathon, Texas. All right, let's see if it lives up to the height. I think after two of these, it wouldn't matter what the hype was. You wouldn't even remember the hype. <laughs> it's some really good, though. Takes three. Ooh, some people it takes three. <laughs> For me, it would only be two. It is really good, though. Really good. There you have it. Oh, it is good. Not only did Stacy have the best margaritas while we were in town, but also the best Mexican. That's right. I had some fresh Baja Mexican food. That was probably the best Mexican food I've had since we've lived in Texas, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It was definitely a tough competition with some of the Baja Mexican food I had when we lived in San Diego. So I am going to make a list of all the places we visited, as well as some of the places that we didn't have time to visit and put it over on the blog. So you can hit up this restaurant or you can hit up the burrito place we went to, the mom and pop burrito place. What was that one called? It was a Marfa. Marfa, Marfa burritos. burritos. <laughs> we saw it on a docu-series on TV. Um, and who was it that went there? It was with... Um, Anthony Bourdain. Yes, I forgot his name for a it minute. It just came to me. But he had been there and he talked about it. He, he went it in... It was on a couple episodes of his shows. So he had talked about it. We went in. We got the, the two, of, two of their burritos that they had. Outstanding. And then we saw the pictures on the wall. And there had been some big name celebrities that had visited Sleepy Little Marfa yeah. to have these burritos. And we agreed. They're pretty damn good. Matthew McConaughey, a couple of other big actors. So definitely if you're in the area, pop in, check out the burritos. One thing we discovered about West Texas is it is so much better than wintering in Florida. Yeah, this place, it was pleasantly surprising to me because I thought we were going to be out in the middle of nowhere. There wasn't going to be anything to do. It was very relaxing and the campground was really, really nice. Okay, it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> but there's plenty to do here. And it's quiet and it's not, I feel like Florida... We've been there so many times. Yeah. It's so crowded and so hard to get into for the winter. And I feel like I always think it's like a big cement slab in Florida. <laughs> Here, there's so much to see and do and hiking and just, I mean, come on, you're right down the road from a national park. Yeah, so. I was just going to say, you're an hour away from Big Bend. I mean, and there's just other places in and around there that you could park for a couple of months, couple of weeks, and just unwind and get on and explore. It's a great place. It's a great alternative to Florida, like Stacy was saying. And the prices here for the monthlies are really good. So check out some of the campgrounds. Again, I've listed a bunch of the campgrounds on the blog. I would love to know what your favorite place is to winter. Please share. Don't hold it all for yourself. Share it with everyone so we can all kind of bounce around and not hit the same spots every winter. And we're always looking for a, a good winter place other than always going to Florida. We love Florida, but we want to we want to keep continue to explore other places for the winter. So help us out. Take a deep breath, let's get away to new places. Today's the day it's time to go to places we've never been. we've never been